everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing what I spend in a week as a young professional living in Cambridge and working in London. I get lots of questions about personal finances and budgeting and whilst I'm no expert I thought it would be interesting to track my expenditure for this week. Obviously it fluctuates from week to week but let's treat this as one data point. This video is purely for entertainment and informational purposes only. I'm not trying to give out financial advice by any means, I'm just trying to be transparent with my own cash flows. I know we're in a cost of living crisis and I don't like to take any of what I have for granted but at the same time I don't want money to be a taboo topic. I think it's useful to discuss, it's interesting to discuss so yeah let's get on with the video. It's actually Sunday evening right now because I usually do my food shop for the week on a Sunday and when I say food shop I mean order a recipe box direct to my door. I'm getting really into these recipe boxes but it's actually my first time using Gusto. I've spent £16.40 this week on three recipes, three portions of each so nine portions of food. That is a very good deal because I got a first time customer discount. I probably ordered more food than I normally would. I've already put stuff away in my fridge but I've got things like kidney beans and pizza mix here and this will cover off all of my evening meals and a lot of my lunches for the week. I also popped into Sainsbury's in Cambridge Town Centre earlier to grab a few extra food bits so I will insert that clip here. Just did a quick grocery shop at Sainsbury's. Got my bag, walking at home. So I spent £9.15 in Cambridge. Adding that to the Gusto 1640 brings me to £25.55 on food at this point in the week. I will update you when I am making my next purchase. It is Monday morning and I'm in London so I've paid £30.15 and pence for my train ticket, a return train ticket, Cambridge to London. Bit of an unavoidable expense as I do have to be in the office two days per week at least. I did get an anytime day return which is a little bit more expensive than if you get advanced singles but advanced singles restrict you to one train. I also have a 60 to 25 rail card which gets me a third off all rail tickets. after a morning of work and meetings with colleagues I'm now heading to get lunch. It is going to be a Tesco meal deal because it's close to the office and it's just quick and easy. There's not a lot of people in today so no big plans for lunch. So that was £3.40 with a club card for my lunch. I don't think I will ever be the sort of person who is organised enough to bring a packed lunch to work, unfortunately. It is Tuesday evening. I've been working from home all day, so I haven't made any purchases, but I am now just heading into an ice skating lesson, which is £11.25. I'm home from ice skating. It's a half hour lesson. Honestly, the highlight of my week. I love it so much, worth every penny. And that's my only expense today because my food has just come out of my cupboards and my fridges for all meals. And I'm counting food in this exercise when I buy it rather than when I eat it because that calculation is far too complicated. Here is dinner and I will see you tomorrow. 
it is Wednesday afternoon and today is my weekly study day when I get time off my client work to revise my actuarial exams. I have been at home all day so I haven't spent anything yet but I am doing my usual trip out to a coffee shop in the afternoon to get a change of scene. So let's go buy a coffee. I went to Cafe Nero and bought a decaf latte and millionaire's shortbread cake. Also, it turned out their dishwasher was broken, so I got a takeaway cup and takeaway box. I've arrived into Liverpool Street. I'm paying £20.44 for my return train ticket today. So I was a little bit more on it with buying advanced singles, which is good. But yeah, second day in the office. just made it back into Cambridge station in the evening and no I didn't speak to you guys at lunchtime because I ended up getting a free lunch they put on a lunch and learn in the office today so press sandwiches all around and I didn't make a purchase yeah I don't plan to make any more purchases today just spent two hours on a train we love a good train delay so I'm very hungry so I'm gonna go have some leftover nachos that I made last night Good morning everyone, it is Friday morning and I have arrived at the ice arena in my car. Because it is coffee skate morning, I'm quite enjoying these sessions. They're like social skating sessions with a big group, but a few instructors there as well. And you get a coffee included at the end of the skate and it's just waiting for you when you come off the ice. So it's good fun and it costs me 10 pounds for the session. And I'm actually a few minutes late as well. But it's early in the morning, the session starts at 7.45. So you really can't blame me, but I'm gonna run in, get my skates on and get on the ice and order my coffee as well. Very important. I am rushing off back to work today because I am super busy and it's already nearly nine o'clock. For some reason, my hands are so much colder than normal today. The ice just felt very cold today. Heading back home to work from home the rest of the day. Thank God it's Friday. it is saturday morning i've had quite a lazy morning scrolling tiktok but then i might have seen a jumper that i really liked and my hands might have slipped and i might have ordered it on asos i do have a bit of an online shopping problem but look at this powder blue jumper it's just the perfect powder blue color this girl on tiktok has well and truly influenced me and look she put the product code in a swipe along slide so with the pointer to the jumper, I, I could not not go and order it. So I spent £26.50 on ASOS this morning and that will arrive in the next few days, hopefully. But now I'm heading off. I need to cycle across town because I'm meeting my friend Seppa for a coffee at Hot Numbers. So let's go buy a coffee. And I'm in Hot Numbers. I've just got a coffee and it cost me four pounds ten pence but it is in my opinion some of the best coffee in Cambridge. Hello vlog I have just bought a pizza for 12 pounds 50 
Oscar's Lockdown Pizza from the Blue Moon Pub in Cambridge with my friend Fatima with a couple of dips and a free tiramisu dessert for collection. So excited to try it. Just got home after an evening of pizza and chats. Even got some leftovers for tomorrow's lunch, which is great. Now to bed. Okay, so it's now Sunday and I've spent a full week tracking my expenses. So it's time to round up and add everything up. In total, for all of the things I've discussed in this video so far, I've spent 151 pounds and 14 pence on my travel, on my entertainment, on my food. However, there is just the small matter of mortgage repayments, tax and bills to consider. For most of the items I'm about to discuss, I pay for them on a monthly basis, but I have calculated the weekly contribution pro rata to get an idea of my spend each week. Starting with the biggest one, which is the mortgage repayment, I'm paying around £136 per week. And that is for the house I'm sitting in right now that I moved into in 2022. Then we have council tax. So I'm paying £28 per week to Cambridge City Council. I think I'm in one of the lower bands and I also get a single person's discount because I live alone. Moving on to bills, I'm paying around £23 for my electric per month and around £5 for my water. I don't have gas in this house so I don't have a gas bill. Then we have broadband. I'm paying £5.42 per month for my broadband and I really haggled with them to get this. I rung them up and I was like, excuse me, you've put my broadband prices up. I'm not happy. I'm leaving. I'm going to another provider. And I felt like a true adult. I knew they were offering their new customers better rates than they were giving me. And I was like, no. And the last two items are very small to the point I was like, is it worth including them? I'm not sure. But for completeness, I'm paying £2.99 per week for my TV license and £4.40 for subscriptions being Apple, Netflix and Spotify. I might have other subscriptions that I pay on a yearly basis, but I can't think of any big ones that I've missed. So let's call it £4.40. And adding up that bunch of mortgage bills, tax subscriptions, it comes to £204.08. And so adding everything up that I've spent this week, my weekly spend has been £355.22. That is my weekly cost of being a young professional, living in Cambridge and working in London. I hope that was interesting. My overall feeling is that this week has been slightly on the lighter side in terms of expenditure, which I didn't anticipate happening actually. But I guess work has been busy. I haven't been out too much. I got my gusto deal, which definitely kept food costs down. So I reckon I could easily spend another £20 on what I did this week. But as I said at the start, it's just the data point. It's been fun tracking what I'm actually spending my money on. Thanks for watching. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Drop any thoughts in the comments section down below. Let me know if you want to see more money focused videos in the future. And yeah, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.